Right, so, back to the channel. That fucking clap was unnecessary. Anyway, we are back with our marquee matchups. Reason the PN, right, first thing. I know the first thing that everybody's going to say. My record, right. I am physically not that shit at the game and it would be positive if it wasn't for the fact that I felt generous one day. And basically, to give you a short story, because I don't want to have this video going over 10 minutes or any other length of time. Uh, I just backed out the games for the loyalty glitch instead of actually doing the team of the week. One, I couldn't find the team of the week and two, could not be fucked wasting 10-15 minutes of my day just fucking going through that to get jack shit because I did get jack shit. Anyway, marquee matchups has already been completed. I've put all the players into the slots. Now, one thing I would say is you don't have to use every single one of the same players. All you need to do is use the exact same links. So... This marquee matchups have some. It has some decent rewards, right? Okay, so like the jumbo premium silvers, maybe not. The premium mixed players packs, okay. The 15k pack, you're never going to say no to a 15k pack. And the small prime electrum players pack, this one's a problem. Galatasaray, I'll get to that in two seconds, but that Galatasaray one is the problem as to why this one goes for so much. This marquee matchup is expensive. If you didn't have any of the players, which I hope and pray that you do, because I don't know, I don't wish this on anybody. It's bad. So we'll start with the A E K Athens against P E O K. So as you can see, there's a few players that um, you've got 200, 200, 200, and 200 for the bronzes, right? So I bought this guy for 200 because I didn't have him in my club. Uh, silver, silver, and silver to go for absolute fuck all. And then you could just pick two random countries or and or leagues in that uh, spot there, I suppose. Um, it just so happens that I have five leagues because, you know, kind of showing off and all, all like that. Anyway, um, the Romanian league guy here, this is the only one time I'm ever going to do this, for some reason goes for so fucking much, but I just can't be arsed selling them and doing all that shit. So that's the first team. So all you need to do is basically revolve your team around there and then get this little four triangle fucking pyramid looking thing and make sure you've got all the same league and you just need to make sure you've got three rares and you're basically sorted. You're you're literally on your way. So you're a quarter of the way there but once you've done that. Now let's talk about this monstrosity of fucking bullshit. It has to be a full silver team and if you've only been opening gold packs or you haven't been losing at the draft like I have you're not going to get silver packs or silver players. This one was ridiculous. Now, I, luckily, they were the only two silver Super League players I had in my club because you need silver Super Leagues because obviously first owner, another one was first owner, which is now let me uh, select them at this minute in time. So, look at that. 4,000 fucking coins and above and the rest. Uh, you're looking at like people like that being a thousand coins from the German 2 league. So what I've done is I've went German 2, made sure this guy's on 10, made sure the keeper's on 10, perfect link this guy, which means he's basically on 9 if you want a position change him. Uh, same with him, I've made sure that I've got a wee strong link on both of them. Uh, and this right here, I know you could, swi you could switch it about and do whatever. I had that boy in my club, I think he's 2,000 coins. He was 800, which is not that bad. And then the keeper was first owner as well. This one is ridiculously bad, like this will cost you a lot unless you want to wait. If you wait it out for like another, it's got like 6 days remaining, if you wait 5 days and then do marquee matchups and come back to it, this will be a lot lot cheaper. Hopefully. I'm just doing it now because I have the players and I just was like fuck it, I'm just, I'm not even wasting time on this one at all, it just pisses me off. But, small prime electrum players pack. What I would say though is once we claim reward, we're not going to claim it right now. Hopefully that Jumbo Premium Silver pack gives you some players that you can use. You're going to get a few rare players at least, so slot them in and just fucking fire them off. Um, this one was piss easy. You can do this with any league. I literally use this league because the majority of them are untradeable. So the majority of the um, defenders and keeper, uh, that's that's literally untradeable. Um, pretty sure, yeah, Granit Xhaka goes for absolute fuck all. You've got all of them that are pack pulled. This entire thing's pack pulled this SPC here. Um, it's only 75 rating so if you do want to change some of them for silvers, maybe like a, you could go for uh, you know the English third league, English fourth league, something like that. You don't actually have to use their players. I just have used them because I have every single one of them and they're all just tradable first owners. Like there's not, I'm pretty sure that one's, yeah he's the untradable so there's a few others. So we're going to fire that one in. Premium mixed, it's fine. No worries with that. 
Um, I hate how it takes you to the store as if they want you to open the pack. I just want my bulk pack, man. Bulk pack. Uh, so this one's just basically the same. So I've went with Lucas Vasquez. I don't know if he's went up in price. I think he was like 1.3 at one point. Yeah, he's basically still the same. You're going to get Spanish players up until there. Um, and it just adds another nationality on. If you do want to keep Spanish, it's not a problem. Um, it's just max four for the same league. So I've used four there. One, two, three um, from the Mexican league, Bancomer. And then one, two, three, four there from the Eredivisie. I mean, a lot of, some of these players, again, might be dear, so you don't want to get these ones. So like 700 on bid, you might get people for less. I'm just showing you the links of how to do it if it's pack build, right? There are obviously ways around it, but you know, like formations are easy, so just like green link them and then green link that into that, or if you wanted to try and like do that little pyramid again, because it's the same formation. It's entirely up to you, but it's literally just I'm showing you the links that you need for certain people. Um but as you can see, even if it wasn't pack pulled, it's only 85 chem and I've slapped 90 chem off it. So and that's with using a centre back and centre mid, so you know, it's, it's fine, it is what it is. As I say, that Galatasaray one is going to cost you a fucking arm and a leg um, if you try and complete it now without the players. It's just one of the unfortunate things. I never thought this one was going to be as bad as it was. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to open a silver one and I'm going to see if I could find somebody in this pack. So we're going to skip it because we know it's not a walkout. It's pointless. Um, Dentinho, again, could go for something, isn't going for something. So maybe that's somebody you want to use. Um, Pedersen doesn't look like he's selling for anything, but could go for about, yeah, you're looking about 800 coins there, 500. I know the Denmark League would be a good one to use as well. Um, you could sell a lot of your silvers, like a lot of your silvers might sell now. Like 1.6 for him, he would never get used as a Birmingham player, you know what I mean? So anyway, uh, enough with that pack, that pack, I'll get rid of all of them actually, I don't need them. Uh, I'll check him later on, because he has a duplicate, uh, once this video is finished. Uh, get to the 15k part now. Hopefully, I'm just hoping for a board at this rate, to be honest, after doing all this. It just seems like it should be fair, there's at least a board. It's a board, yeah, it's a board. Spanish, what are we saying, CDM, Javi Martinez, El Yaramende. So what's that, 83? Yeah, 83. So that's not too bad for a 15k pack, I think I've probably... I'm probably close to make my money back. I don't think I'm quite there yet. But I'll just fire him up. I don't really care too much for keeping him. Um, get rid of him. If you're one of the people that only focus on the main team, uh, then it's fine. You could get rid of all of this pack. You could sell as much as you can. You will make profit back for marquee matchups as long as you don't spend the 5k for certain players. It's just shit that that's the way it goes, really, unfortunately. Um, so that's silver, that's and bronze, so we're going to pick this one next. Uh, I'm fine with whatever I get now, I'm not even that fast. I was going to say that's a board, but it's not, it's going too fast. Um, so yeah, just, that's that's what to do, like, obviously message me if you have found a better way, and just let me know. Um, it won't, like, affect anything in the long run, but it will help. Um, Super League... I don't know why I'm checking him, you need silvers. Um, if you've managed to do it a different way or if you've got anything from your marquee matchups, obviously let me sh let me know, let me let me see, let me be fucking salty as fuck over it. Yeah, that's too fast as well. So it's all down to the 25k pack. Uh, again, this one might be a decent... So a thousand coins, so there's a German 2 player that you can use. Um, Swedish from there, so you're looking at a thousand coins for him. I don't know how much he's selling for. 900 coins, so Swedish League's a good one for the whole silver team. Uh, so we'll get rid of them. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Is he a Linsky, maybe? K and a half. We're not going to say no to that. And the rest of them could just go. And the 25k pack. Can we at least get a board? I was going to say that is, but it's not. I was just, I, I swither on certain packs and stuff, but Delaney's nice, he would have been in form like yesterday, like before 6 o'clock, so that's fucking, that's a bit heartbreaking to be honest. Um, he has a he has a really good card though in terms of like stats and shit, I've not actually seen how much he goes for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to list him up for 
three, four and a half, and they could just sell for what it sells for them the fast. Uh, the rest of them should be fine. I don't think there's anybody that we need to have a look over. Heating, yeah. See, we're looking at heating and barns and stuff like that. You know how I put that SPC out earlier. There's very, very little people that actually go for a lot in this game as of right now, anyway. So you could do it for a lot of different ways, a lot of different uh, prices and stuff. I've just done it for that because I just feel it's better. Uh, I think I've sold somebody anyway. And then we've got the Chinese boy, so he's going for a grand total of basically fuck all. Um, <laughs> so I'll list it for 450, we'll let somebody have it. So anyway, that has been Marquee Matchups. Let me know what you got on Twitter. It's basically the exact same as my YouTube channel. It's just TSS Bones, as easy as possible. And uh, I will see you for another marquee matchup some other time, hopefully with better rewards.